Hello everybody and welcome back to Nipponism. So today uh, I have a semi-Japan related topic. Uh, it is kind of Japan related but it's also uh, related to one of my biggest fandoms ever. So as you can tell by all the props I've prepared for you in this video, um, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead and today I want to look into my Walking Dead lucky bag with you. Yes, so as you might know I did a video like this maybe one or two years ago, I'm not sure, but uh, I already did one lucky bag haul. Uh, lucky bags are some kind of things that pop up by the end of the year in Japan, so big brands uh, put in some of their items that were big this year or that are maybe already out of collection, I don't know, uh, and you can buy this kind of bag to a certain price, you know, sometimes they have different categories, so the cheaper ones with less items and the more expensive ones with more items. Uh, it depends on the brand and the shop and whatever. Uh, and then, you know, you buy something and you don't know what's inside. So you usually get, uh, they say like, their items, either they say a number of items, which is usually the case. Some brands, even like if it's for clothing, uh, they usually say you get at least, for example, one, one piece inside or like you have a jacket inside or some special kind of thing. Uh, and you know, usually the things inside the bag are worth more than you pay for it. But you cannot choose the item, so it's a lucky bag. You know, you know, you don't know what's inside. And I uh, really love lucky bags. So the last time I did a video like this, it was about uh, Ghost of Harlem. It was a Ghost of Harlem lucky bag I got. Uh, but since most of my favorite clothing brands close their shops and are only selling online and are not really up to date anymore. So I don't even know what they are selling at the moment and if it's still something of my taste. Because of that and because I was more familiar with the clothing brand kind of lucky bags, I wasn't even expecting myself to buy a lucky bag this year. But then on my Facebook timeline there was this advertisement of this one shop had a, like a limited shop in Shinjuku this year uh, about Walking Dead and some other like main was Walking Dead and then they also had Suicide Squad and Supernatural and some other you know fandoms about TV shows or movies uh, where they were selling some fan articles and uh, yeah I went there, of course, because, you know, if I have a fandom, I really love buying fan articles, even if it's the most random stuff, I love spending money on that, and it can be good or bad, whatever, you know, but, you know, you have to fill your life with joy sometimes, so that's something I like to do to make myself feel a little bit happier, so I went there, and that's also how I get this beautiful Daryl Dixon stand-up, uh, it was, it was quite... An adventure to bring him home actually because even compromised he was still pretty big and I had to go by train and then I had to you know carry this super sized cardboard stand up with me uh, in the train from Tokyo home so uh, it was an adventure but I did it and I don't regret it so now I have this beautiful Daryl Dixon standing in my room all the time uh, Hopefully they will someday also bring a King Ezekiel one and I will buy it too, probably. Uh, yeah, but this shop, you know, they they don't, as far as I know, they don't have like a main shop. They are basically online and then sometimes they do some kind of limited shop things uh, for a certain amount of time. I think it was like three months or something uh, in some malls or anywhere. And yeah, I went there and they had, like when I went there, I was a little bit late already so most of the stuff was already sold out so this cap for example I had to buy online then as soon as they got it back in their online shop but I still got it so it's fine um, and yeah there was this advertisement popping up on my uh, Facebook timeline that this shop was selling lucky bags about Walking Dead where you get seven items and one of them uh, will be a calendar uh, so I didn't really hesitate. It wasn't really expensive. I think it was about 5,000 yen and a little bit or something. So usually lucky bags are around uh, 10,000 yen or 
more depending on the brand but usually it's around this kind of thing so I was like wow that's pretty cheap I cannot do anything wrong with it so let's go for it so I just bought it and I was happy and they uh, said they would start selling it around December but no certain date so you can like I pre-ordered one obviously and then yesterday I think I got the mail that it's delivered or like that they send it out and today it already arrived so yeah here I am uh, I thought I should share what's inside my lucky bag with you uh, unfortunately I, I already opened the package and it wasn't you know in an extra bag or somehow wrapped or anything so I kind of had a look already but I couldn't I couldn't hold myself back I was so excited to open this and I needed this so much so uh, yeah, but I didn't uh, look at the details, I didn't uh, really, you know, I just saw the obvious things. So, uh, the rest of the unpacking I want to do with you, and I hope you are as excited as I am. So, let's get it started. This is the box I got my stuff in, so let's see. So, first of all, when I opened it, what I saw, and made me really happy, like, as you can maybe tell by everything, I'm a... Here it says Miss Daryl Dixon. I'm a pretty big uh, Daryl Dixon fan and I love him to death, even though uh, he has now competition with King Ezekiel. But uh, I opened it and the first thing I saw, saw was this beauty. I've got a bubble head of Daryl Dixon. It couldn't have been anyone, but it was Daryl Dixon and that makes me very happy. So uh, it was already worth everything I guess so this is the first item it's a official AMC uh, Walking Dead Daryl Dixon bobblehead and I'm not sure where to place him now I would love to put it in my car actually because I th think it would be very funny I have to check if there's some way I can make it stick there so that he won't fall around in my car uh, if not he will go to all my other fanaticals behind the camera right now and stand in front of my window but yeah I will see this is my Daryl Dixon uh, bubble head and I'm wait let, let's uh, maybe I will open it later okay so this is item number one then as I said uh, item number two was uh, the calendar which is in every lucky bag so it says it's a 16 16 month calendar it's about walking the season seven I believe so I haven't looked into it and it only has some some of the previews on the back so if it's 16 I think it shows 12 pictures here so I believe there are more and I actually want to open it because season seven music is in there too and I I can't deny it. I'm a really big fan of him right now so let's see what kind of nice pictures we have there. So it's also official uh, AMC calendar. Yeah. And there's first of all a couple inside. Let's see. We have some zombies. We have Rick. We have Negan. Oh, March is Daryl Dixon. I'm so happy that's my birthday month. Oh, oh, oh. Then we have Michonne. We have Carl. We have Morgan. Rick and Negan. Maggie. We have again Daryl Dixon as a worker. And we have Morgan again. Again Negan. Rick. And is it, is it a true 16 months kind of thing? When does it start? Let me see. Ah, I see. It has like September, October, November, and December 2017. Okay, that's what makes it a seven, a 16 month calendar. But, anyways, I think that's a pretty nice thing. I will hang it up soon. I just need to figure out where is the best place so I can have a look at it properly all the time. So this is the calendar that is in every uh, Walking Dead lucky bag of this company. So, yeah. Then I have, let's start with the posters. I have two posters inside. A small one and a big one. I haven't looked at them yet, so I have no idea what's on them. Oh yeah, let's find out. Let's start with the small one, so. Let's see, hopefully it's something nice. But I saw on this one that Rick is already on there. So I'm hoping it's gonna be it. Oh, it's a poster of everyone. This is adorable. Look at that. Well, not everyone. Ta-da! 
we have Rick, Carl, Michonne, Daryl, in big, uh, Glenn and Maggie, oh Glenn, oh Glenn, my baby. Yes, that's a small poster, sorry, it's still really rolling up, so I cannot show it to you properly, but yeah, that's a small poster, that's pretty nice. I will put it up for sure. And then let's have a look at the big poster. There we go. I think this is some kind of a door poster kind of thing. Oh, it's comic zombies. Ooh. Yeah, it's a door zombie poster. It's just zombies in the comic style, at least. And I don't know if you can see. I can see my own camera right now. So oof, this is it. maybe you can have a look. Okay, oof, you see zombies, just zombies. But I think that's also pretty dope. Looking good. It has zombies, so nothing against some zombies in your living room, I believe. And then, yeah, these were the two posters. Sorry, I'm always diving into it. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this made me smile a little bit. I have a Walking Dead tattoo pack. Isn't this awesome? These are temporary tattoos. Let's have a look what kind of tattoos they are. I don't think I will ever use them, but maybe there's some way to get them onto some other things instead of my skin because. I mean, I could like, you know, put me some zombies on my cheek or anything. But here we have some Rig Daryl. Let me see, it's pretty dark. There's a Michonne and... Who's that? Is that Rig? I'm not quite sure, it's pretty dark. I don't think you can tell. That That's Michonne and that's maybe Rig. Who is that? Seriously. I believe it's rigged, but I'm, I'm not sure, I cannot really tell. And then we have some, my mini poster as a, as a tattoo and some logos. I, I really hope I can attach them to something else because I, I like these logo things. The Walker Hunter and Don't Look Back, Fight the Dead and Fear the Living, that's my favorite motto of the show. Yeah, so. Uh, tattoos. <laughs> um, then I have at the last two items, right, right. Yeah, the last two items I have to Walking Dead magazines. I have no idea. It says there are some interviews with Melissa McRae, uh, John Sand, and Dave Stewart. It has some. Oh, it has also interviews with Dwight and Clementine. Clementine. Is this the Clementine of the game? I love the Walking Dead game. I hope it is. I'm not sure if I'm happy about it or not, but I think it's all there. It's a picture of King Ezekiel, so everything's good now. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's just some uh, exclusive stuff, maybe some background kind of thing, Kirkman Corner and stuff like that. Well, I will, I will read through it and see what's, what it's about. There are some interviews, obviously. Uh, are you an Alpha or Beta? Oh, I can I can make a test, obviously. Who is Alpha or Beta? That's it. Hate. Hate, love that guy. Hate that guy, love that guy. What do I do? Also pretty nice. It's an interview with him, so. I think I will read through it. It might be quite an interesting read. And here are some, I don't know. Yeah, so Walking Dead magazines, I have to now. Maybe some of you guys know them already. I don't know them. I believe they might only be sold in America or something. I have no idea, to be honest. So I have number 20 and number 8. Two posters, two magazines, the bubble hair, the tattoos, and the calendar. So seven items uh, in there. Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm actually pretty happy about it. So I mean, I told you I will open it anyway. So uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty content. I actually well, there is falling apart. Actually, I would love to buy another one. Just I, I don't know. I love lucky bags. I like the thrill that you have no idea what's inside, and even if shitty things like the tattoos come out. Look at him! He's so wobbly! <laughs> this is pretty funny actually. It doesn't have anything to attach it. But yeah, that's my Daryl Dixon bubble hat. Wobble wobble. It's really bubbly. It looks a little bit crazy though. But I like it. Yeah, so 
uh, that's my Walking Dead Lucky Bag haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, then uh, probably you're a little bit jealous right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really... I would love to have another one, but I don't know if I should get another one. Uh, maybe, probably not. But as I said, I love buying fan articles and even if it's the crappiest crap crap, I still love it as long as there's something on it with Walking Dead or whatever my other fandoms are. <laughs> it makes me kind of happy to just have it. So uh, I might be a little bit nerd about that, but you know, I don't mind. I like it and I enjoy myself. So yeah, this was my uh, Walking Dead lucky bag haul. I'm happy and I think uh, the price and what's inside is making it up and uh, yeah, I will enjoy my new Walking Dead items. I will see where I put up my posters and uh, where I put my little <laughs> bubble head. I think it would distract me if I put it in my car. But yeah, we will see. Yeah, so that's it and I hope you liked it and I will see you in my next video which is hopefully coming soon and until then I wish you a good time and I hope you're having a nice winter time, Christmas time, it's going so fast now and until then take care, have fun and matane!